Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission. So we're going to get started. It's an early one I'm putting out today because I happen to be working from home today and I'm on my lunch break. So I want to be clear about that because I know somebody's going to watch it and say, Oh, what were you doing during work? Well, no, I was actually working. Thank you very much. So this is my lunch break. A little quick uh, foray into the anomaly here to find out what's going on. So as you can see, the anomaly mission is of present. We have our three over there that we're not going to do, but we have the one up above that indicates that we have a special mission available to us for the weekend. Looks like intriguing ingredients is what it is. It claims it needs to collect up 702 facium, but not sure how true that is. What it usually turns out to be is they end up fooling me on it, and I end up having to pull something else. So let me see if I have any in here. I got Mordite. Um, I don't usually carry poop on me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had to say it that way. But what ends up happening is they end up saying, hey, you can have something else. So I'm going to check my freighter real quick and just make sure that in my main inventory I don't have Fecium. I have a little bit of Cadmium, a little bit of Copper. That's about it. Okay. Good. All right, so we're good. So let's go ahead and accept the mission and see what it turns into when it really is Fecium or not. This could take a little bit. So we can get Polyfiber times five, really good product to have because you can build the uh, cosmetic things in your uh, bases for that. And then you also get 341 nanites, but on top of it all, you will get your 1800 Quicksilver. So that's always a great thing to get. So let's initialize our mission. It is 1800, right? 1800, yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and initialize our mission. We're going to start the mission and let's see if it remains Fecium or if it turns into some other element that we need to gather up. And we're going to use our Utopia speeder that I've had for a little while now. Had it since, you know, it came out in the Utopia mission. Uh, that is the expedition, I should say. All right, here we go. Hyperspace to the area that they want us in. I am going to have a video come out either today or tomorrow on Quicksilver. An explanation of Quicksilver, what you can spend it on, the items in the store, things like that. I have to do a little editing because I forgot one major thing out of that video, and we'll get that taken care of. All right. So it looks like we have a decaying nuclear planet in front of us. What else? Where are we going? There it is. I always got to wait for it to pop up. I'm going to flip around. It says Fecium Detected. Okay. Someone ought to light a match or something, because if it's detected, you don't want to smell that, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, down we go. Yep, you can tell by these green clouds that Fecium must be on this planet. Oh, yeah, we just hit the ground. Fantastic. Couldn't see a stinking thing. All right. Doesn't seem to make a difference where we stop as long as we stop somewhere. Now, if you take a look around, you can already see there's storm crystals here. So this would be a great planet to get yourself some storm crystals from. Um, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and park this thing because I cannot stop in midair, unlike my uh, Sentinel ships. So you can get storm crystals here. Let's see what kind of a planet this is real quick here. So we got cobalt, uranium, activated copper. So we don't have like a fecium type deposit that we can get stuff from. But we do know gamma root, that means with uranium too, it means that this is going to be a uh, uh, pretty toxic environment that we're going to be getting, getting into. See extreme radioactivity. So make sure you have your radioactive shield. That's going to be on your person. Good, the storm's over. We don't have to worry about that. So when you check over here, your... Toxic protection is going to be this. I happen to have a secondary one, which gives me extra radiation resistance, but having an actual shield is better. And these are recharged with uranium usually, which is, you know, kind of interesting, isn't it? You're going to use uranium to protect yourself from uranium. I don't know. Somebody wasn't thinking when they thought that up. Anyway, moving along, let's get out of the ship and take a look around. Okay. Extreme hazardous planet. We got oxygen here, quite good amounts. If you don't have any uranium, you can usually find uranium deposits here and there around the planet. Uh, activated copper is here as well, so that's a good thing. Uh, that's very handy, one to one ratio, making chromatic metal out of that. We got cobalt and 
yeah, one of these is going to say uranium. There you go. See? Okay, so there you go. So we need to get fecium, right? And we need to get it via planet. So let's just take a quick look at something. I'm going to go pull out to the system here. There's only two planets in the entire system here. So the likelihood that the second planet can have fecium deposits on it, pretty rare. It's also a pirate-controlled system. Keep that in mind. Okay, so this could be some nastiness going on around these planets. Fortunately, Sentinels won't be a problem. Now it says collect fecium. 702 is what we need. Make sure you got plenty of... Where are they? I think I have them in here. There we go. Creature pellets in order to gather that up. Okay, so we're going to get it from the creatures on the planet. So let's take a look around. Uh, you're looking for the red dots. Some of these, like this, isn't going to really stop and gather up minerals. Uh, pardon me, food from you. Nor are the flying ones, obviously. I'm just going to go ahead and look at those. You want to find other creatures that are stationary, like these over here, will, which will help out. The more you have around, the better. Like that dude right there. I'm not sure how much he'll drop, but he's a pretty decent-sized dude. The blob. I'm just going to go ahead and feed him one. Now, you can do it this way if you wish and just offer food directly. And he'll eat that, and he'll produce something afterwards. You can make a friend of him if you want. Up to you. I don't see any reason to. So looking around again, I'm looking for any green or red dots that are on the surface of the planet. Looks like we got a bunch over here, but those may be the flying variety. Let me take a look. Yes, they are. And there's another flying variety. He's not going to stop and feed. But we do have another biological entity right there. Another blob. It's a blob-like creature. So while they say this is a creature-rich planet, I'm not very positive that it's going to be the type of creatures we need. So, what we're probably going to do, like, see, he's already dropped some. Boy, that boy just really, you know. We'll go ahead and pick that up, and we got a whopping 15 fecium from one dude. Now, he will drop another one here in just a couple moments. Usually, every time you feed them, they drop two, one, and then a little while later, another one. But that's the most you're going to get out of every one of them. If you could find a herd, flock, murder, hey, look, a ball. The ball style ones. If you could find a whole bunch of them together, that becomes very handy to do that. But you're not going to probably find what you're going to need here. So let me just go up here and take a look and just see what this creature is. And then we'll call this done. Ah, we got a clear ball. That is a very interesting looking one. Let's get a closer look, shall we? I don't know if they'll drop any food. But we'll see. Now, another way you could get Fecium is you could kill the, the creatures and gather up their Mordite and turn it into Fecium. But you know what? Not worth it. It takes too much time to do all that. So, that is an interesting looking ball. There we go. Should we get a picture with our ball? I think we should get a picture with our ball. What do you say? Just want my character to look towards me. Close enough. And we can do a little editing of the picture later. So That's a nice looking ball we have here. Fascinating. Maybe not one for the picture album that will keep very long, but, you know, it is what it is. So we found a few creatures here. I don't see this guy dropping anything, as you can see. That isn't see that doesn't seem to be the kind of creature that they're interested in or, or that is going to drop what we need. Let's just put it that way. So let's head back towards our ship, towards the other creature that we were interacting with. I don't think this guy's going to do the same thing either. We'll go ahead and feed him, but I think that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to try checking out the other planet real quick and see if that might be a feasible alternative to sticking around here and waiting for one or two creatures to drop this because we could be here a long time waiting for them to defecate the landscape. Yeah, I said it. Incoming storm anyway. So let's head over to our speeder. Let's head out of Dodge. Just make sure there's not more that I'd left behind. No, there isn't. Now, the thing is, if you already got the 700 on you, 
you don't have to gather anymore. Now remember, you don't have to stay on the planet. You can go to another planet in the system. The problem is, in this system, you've only got one other planet. So, let's check it out. There we go. Nobody has discovered this planet. Unknown. It's boiling doom. And dissonance detect detected on top of it all. Go figure. So not only is it a pirate system, it's a dissonant system as well. <laughs> Go figure. So this will be a hot planet. No heavy, heavy storms on this one. So it's just regular copper. You can tell by that. If it's activated copper, it means they got bad storms. Okay. Let's head down. So uh, we spent 10 minutes and we got 15 fecium. So, yeah. I'm not spending 6 hours getting fecium. Let's drop in. I'll do a quick scan, but I don't think I'm going to find any buildings anywhere around here. Uh, let's see. This does not look like a very happy planet. Let's just park right here and take a look. I might even rename the planet just because. Oh, great. Yeah, we've got... Uh... Whispering eggs everywhere, too, so let's see what kind of creatures we got. All right, we got a four-legged creature. That's good. If we can get groups of those, we're in good shape. Yeah, looks like we got a group of them over here. Just watch out for eggs and watch out for the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, big worms and stuff like that that are on the planet. Yeah, this is good. This is actually better. There we go. We'll drop some food down there. I have it on a hotkey. See? Look at all those little animals that are running over. Look at them all. They're all checking it out. So now we just need to wait. And that's what's involved. See, there goes another one. That's great. So if you can get a herd of them, this might be the better way to go. Is come over to this planet, find a herd, a flock, a, a gathering, murder. I don't know what else you want to call them. A stink pile. <laughs> don't know what we want to call it. And after a little bit, they're all going to start just, well, I hate to say it, they're just going to start crapping all over the place, and that's what we're going to pick up. So, so gather up resources if you want. And if you want to, after they've gone to the bathroom one time, if you want, this is ridiculous. This really is. If they have gone to the bathroom one time, we can, uh, we'll go ahead and pick it up, and then we can scare them away and refeed them. See? Here they go. Look at that. They're all just crapping away. Great. Let's see. Am I on my mining beam? There we go. Let's scare them away and pick up the poop. There we go. So we picked up 100 just in that one shot. And then just drop another piece of food and they all come running back again. This time it looks like we got more of them. Take a close look through your visor, because the ones that came up here, there's a possibility that they may have dropped poop elsewhere and you didn't see it. Looks like we've got a couple extra animals in here we haven't seen before. That one right there. I'm trying to get a bead on him so I can... There we go. Excellent. Anybody else here I don't recognize? Good. So we already got 113. That was pretty good. That's a pretty good run on that first one, so I'm kind of happy about that. There it is. And we just got away from them all to... Yeah, there we go. Dropping it all over the place. And it looks like we got a couple others that have popped up over here. So the first thing we're going to do, I think we've got enough. I think they've all, that are going to poop, are going to poop. They've done. There we go. And then go ahead and immediately shoot that out there so that they pick up the food. And you can pick this up while you're here. Before they come rushing back over and block in. Oh, great. I'm going to burn the poop off. That ought to smell wonderful. 176 we just picked up in that one shot. So that's fantastic. This is going to go much quicker. As you can see, we're up to 289 now. Let's recharge this. This uses phosphorus, which is, you know, funny. It's phosphorus is, you know, 
flammable and I'm using it to um, recharge a suit that I'm trying to protect myself from flames. How does that work? All right, we got a whole bunch of them around me now, so this is really, really good. Just wait for them to make their announcements, indicating that they're... There we go. Anytime. There we go. They're all dropping right now. Oh, great. We have flames appearing nearby. Come here, guys. This way. This way. This way. Come on over. Look at them all. Wow, there's a lot of them over here, isn't there? Okay, you ready? Scare them. Scare them. Scare them. Scare them. And seven. How much we get in this run? Hello. Well, that's the smallest little creature I've ever seen. Have we actually found this guy yet? No, we haven't. I think if he pooped, we wouldn't know it. How much did we get? Wow, we're up to 489. Excellent. I'm going to pull them all over. Let's pull them all over here. As we wait for the worm to fly over. There we go. I don't like scaring the... Cr well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe let's scare the crap out of all of them. <laughs> there are so many, so many VCM jokes we can make right now. Looks like they're all dropping it right now. That's right. We're just dropping it. Come on, guys. Keep it going. Anybody else? You? There we go. Thank you for adding. Thank you for contributing. Appreciate it. Anybody over here? You? You good? No? Oh, there you go. Excellent. All right. Everybody has dropped some. Fantastic. Ready? Bam. Bam, bam. Drop some food. Nope. Not interacting. I'm trying to get the poop. Nope. Stop it. They got in the way of the poop. I just I must have dropped the food too close by. Hopefully there's no tornadoes. That would really suck. Guess we'll find out, right? It'll just be blowing crap everywhere. Put it over there. There we go. And I can get the rest of the poop that's over here. All right, good. So how much did we end up with? 673, not bad. We only got about 25 more to go, so we just need some people just to poop a little bit and we're done. So is that a storm within a storm? That's what it sounded like to me. Okay, we're almost done here. Not bad. So we completed so 10 minutes on the first planet. We got 15 Vesium. And we spent 8 minutes on this planet. We've got almost 700. So I think it's a good idea to head over to the other planet and gather up your own little herd like I've got of fans. And we'll go ahead and just pick up all their poop. Ah. Uh, Brings back memories. I'm not going to tell you what those memories are, but it does bring them back. Just going to wait for a few more because you never know. Okay, that should be enough. Bye, guys. Bye. Nope. That should be it. And we're done. Okay. Good deal. Ship is on the other side of the flames. Try not to get step into the flames because that can cause you problems. So now we got to deliver it to the secure depot. So let's go ahead and take off. We'll do a quick scan. Oh, it's telling us where it is. Secure depot is right over there, really. Let's see. How far away? Yeah, five minutes away. Okay, so let's go ahead up into the atmosphere. And we'll... I don't know what it is about these thrusters that I like so much, but I do like those kind. There we go. Quick jump and drop. 
Funny thing is, it's sending me to the same planet, which is not the planet we started on. Very interesting, isn't it? Uh, approximate location? Oh, okay. So we got to look around, huh? Oh, I think we found it. What do you think? Wow, okay. Did not want to land. There we go. And the storm just ended, too. That's good. All right, so here we go. Anomaly mission complete. Let's go ahead and drop these off at the terminal up here. As another worm flies overhead. Always love those things. Delivery lockbox prepared. Ac accessing. This must be Polo's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. We're going to deliver only 500 VCM. Yay. Deliver pro delivery processing success. So that's great. We got an extra 300 VCM on myself that I get to keep. Now, this is a black market terminal. You can pick up some illegal stuff here if you want and sell it elsewhere. Like, you get cheap prices on this. For instance, if I buy this here for 103000 I can sell it in a regular system, and I can get quite a bit more for that. So just keep that in mind that it's illegal black market goods, and if you get caught by the authorities, they will attack you. But you can find other items here, like Edel Cores, Hypnotic Eyes, Larval Cores. You also can get suspicious packets and stuff like that. So... You can get tech. There's a lot of neat things you can get on these particular systems, so it's a good system to stop in. All right, so what do we do? We're done with this. We just got to, as it says there, return to the Nexus, which is inside the anomaly, and we're done with our mission. There we go. Let's pull it in. There's our anomaly. And there we go. Now, there... Last I checked, which was early, early, early this morning, I did not notice anything new in the Quicksilver vendor catalog. So I don't think we're working on anything right now, which is really kind of strange, but there you are. And we're going to head over to the Nexus and see what we got going on here. And here we go. Nexus, and you just complete the mission, and you get all those nice rewards. 1,800 Quicksilver, the Polyfiber times 5, and then finally you get your Nanites, which is not going to appear at the top right. It just will appear in here. So, there we go. Got the more, got more of the stuff that we need, so that's great. And our Polyfiber should show up. There it is, Polyfiber, so I can get some stuff uh, built in my base now chairs and stuff like that so that's pretty cool and again i'll just double check but i'm pretty sure number one yeah nothing new everything's been completed they don't have any new any new universal community research going on right now which is very odd they usually have some kind of community community research going on so that just tells me that something big is coming something big is coming soon a little tm or a little r after it i don't know but soon Asterisks included. And if you ever want to return to your own system, all you have to do is get into your into your, your vehicle, your, your ship, and exit the anomaly. Little tidbit, little trick for the noobs. It will automatically send you back where you started. It'll go back to your own system so you never get lost. Just remember to not quit the game and, re and restart it up or anything like that because you will not be able to get back to your original system. You'll have to find your, find where you were. It'll just kick you out where the where the anomaly missions were. So make sure you don't restart the game. And you should be good. And here we go. I'm back in my original system. And there we go. The Sahanasis system, which is my personal system that I have my community on. Excellent. And there we go. The Sahanasis system, by the way, for anybody who would like to join my community and my community planets, is a system in the Eisentum galaxy. Eisentum, not... Euclid, which is your starter galaxy, Isentum. It is a five-planet system where three of the planets are paradise planets. And in case you want to know the coordinates, there they are at the bottom left cor corner. At any portal, you enter those coordinates in, you will appear in this system. And there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Ladies and gentlemen, please hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the analytics out. And we will see you all again in the next video. Take care, everybody, and have a great day.